toys and we're also uh, you know going to look around the store uh, to try to make somebody's season a little brighter. So one of the things we're really proud of here in Bowling Green is that our community always rallies, uh, you know, at the holiday times, but always throughout the year in giving to people less fortunate. And and this being the given season, you know, right now you can take part in, in supporting uh, Dear Santa, our Dear Santa program through the Bowling Green City Schools or Toys for Tots. So I'm here today buying toys to help make a child's day and holiday season just a little bit brighter. Excuse me one second. Hello, Ryan Weekman. What? Snow on Sunday? So that means I have to get to bed early Sunday night because Monday morning we could have a snowfall? Well, thanks for nothing, Ryan. Well, kids, just got the call from Ryan Weekman that there could be snow in the air and certainly the Arctic cold weather. So let's go check out some clothing options. So it's always important to layer up at this time. So you wanna make sure that you have your scarves on, you find hats, hats, gloves, very important. If you don't like the furry scarves, then we can always do just the traditional scarf. But it's important to layer up for those cold days. This hat looks really warm. Let's try it on. When it gets really cold, a snowsuit might be in order. If your style is camouflage, make sure it has a bright orange or a bright neon color so that we can see at the bus stop. Very important, we don't want you blending in. For you rugged types, car hearts might be in order. Notice a lot of warmth here. And as always, go Bobcats. And on those cold winter nights, a nice pair of slippers keep your feet warm. And in the event that we have a cancellation because of snow, it's always appropriate to find a sled and go on Conneaut Hill. You might like the silver flash, or you might go with the penguin. Either one. We'll have you zooming down the slopes. And as always, Bobcat proud.